got a beef with some bitches. Y'all call these niggas thirsty so much that we have an overload of nonchalant niggas. And I like my niggas shalantin. Welcome to God Level. Your access has been granted. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Shamans, Jay Netta, hell of a editor, Ron Predator. Shout the 10K gang. You in here before 10K. Need you to go ahead and snuff the like button. Genuinely appreciate y'all taking time out y'all busy, busy days to rock with little old me. I appreciate you. On the menu today, we got a few appetizers before we get to the main course, which is of a New York woman basically upset She's saying that a lot of y'all women out there, peep this fella. She's saying that a lot of these women out there have ruined the game by calling men thirsty, saying they do too much, calling them tricks. She's not getting approached because of this very reason, and she's expressing her anger. So let's get into it, then we're going to come back and chop it up about it. A lot of you, some of you husbands and some of you men who are dating someone, you are her parish. Oh, hell no. You serve for her as cushion, as insulation from her feeling the impact of her bad relationship decisions. <laughs> this is why you never get what you want out of her. This is why you never get what you need out of her. Because the relationship was never about you. You're a parachute. And parachutes don't need the person. The person needs the parachute. <laughs> Men should always marry a woman that loves them more than they love them. And uh, because that's part of the selection process, mm -hmm. if she doesn't love you, when men, they stay loyal to the cause. They can be have, stay in a marriage that they're not madly in love with. Message! Because they see the bigger picture. For women, they can't stay loyal to the cause. So it's always important that you pick a woman that loves you more than you love her. I no. Please, I'm kissing your feet, please. Nope. Please. Come on, man. Please. Look at this here. They want the accountability of a child with the respect of an adult, right? She wants to be able to do whatever. She Basically, they want their cake and eat it too, fellas. He caught her on the internet getting real spicy with dudes. And now that he's ready to leave, this is what we have here. She's begging for him to stay. Can't make this up. Please, oh, please. Get up, man. Get please. up. Please, please, <laughs> please, no, please, stop, please. man, please, please, no, please, please, let me go, please, JB smooth is so smooth. Because <laughs> JB was like, you know, I see you guys are in this super long line. You know, you guys are at the back of the line, in this long line, and there's a table open next to me. And I know the waiter, and I can ask him if he can just get you guys seated if you want me to. Like, is that cool? And beautiful women shouldn't stand on a line like that. A long <laughs> line like that, you stand in the back of the line? Message! <laughs> and then I was like, that would be really nice. And so then he, he asked the waiter. The waiter had us, you know, get seated with the whole crew. And JB Smooth is so smooth because mm. when we were sitting there, he was just like, one time, he just looked over there. And he's like, excuse me, you OK? You guys good? I was like, yeah. And he didn't bother me the rest of the night. He just was smooth as hell. You know what he was doing, right? I really got a beef with some bitches because Y'all call these niggas thirsty so much that we have an overload of nonchalant niggas. And I like my niggas shalantin. <laughs> <laughs> these niggas is not doing that because y'all called them thirsty. Who did that? Who started that? Because I ain't never called a nigga thirsty. I'm going to be honest. I'm from the town and she already strikes me as very masculine. Meaning I'm, when I say I'm from the town, I'm from New York. She already strikes me as extremely masculine. Anytime a female, this is one of my turnovers. Anytime they start using nigga, 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 nigga too much, is for me, for me, it's a turnoff. And, and, and she's very masculine. But y'all, y'all women have made it this way. Y'all made it so that no one wants to approach you. Y'all made it so that we don't want to approach y'all. Like, this is what y'all wanted. Not even all the 
Niggas in my DMs still sending DM after DM after DM after DM. Baby, that's called tenacity. I like it. I won't answer it. What? Just because I won't answer it don't mean I don't appreciate it. Who told you that? <laughs> Who gave you that piece of information? I see it, baby. I'm just not interested. But I'm not going to call you thirsty. All right, that was the end of the video. Listen, I think with with the last one, last joint, last woman, she just wants validation. She probably ain't getting as much validation as she used to. Message! Based off how she said, I'm getting DM after DM after DM. So clearly, you have choices. You're just not choosing one. You're still kind of in a shady way calling them thirsty by saying, that's tenacity, that's tenacity. She probably thought that was cute, and it's really not. She's going to be one of the ones that when she's 50, when she's 45, 50 years old, complaining that there aren't any good dudes because she wasn't willing to put the work in. You just said you're getting tons of DMs. So you mean out of all them DMs, and there's not one good guy in there? It's not one? That being said, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If you still rocking out with your boy, go ahead and click on the next video in the lineup. Shout to 10K gang. And always remember... Our level is God level, y'all level is our level. Get on our level, you God level.